So today we are going to explore a Blender powerful add-on called Tissue Add-on. So it's a Blender free add-on that comes default with Blender. The alternate of this tool is in ZBrush a tool called Nano Mesh. So it's really powerful and we can create a lot of stuff with this tool. Now let's get started. Okay, so here we are at the default scene and now we will start from modeling the base of the basket so we can then convert it into that detailed model. So uh, we will drag and select all. You can see all the keys here that I press. So shift A and we will add a, a cube of course again and let's scale it this one at Y, go to the edit mode go to the face selection and delete that face now we would make this one a bit something like this grab it up and let's rotate that at 90 so in the front view it comes up like this now what we do is that Control a and apply scale and rotation so we will control r and add a loop in the middle and now select all right click and make this subdivide so make sure you get a equal kind of loops because that this thing is important we need equal loops there so yeah this side seems fine so we can just do it like this down here it's a bit less dense so uh, you can add another loop but let's just try it with this one um, we want to add a subdivision modifier right click and shade smooth so it looks smooth like this and now what we have to do is to create that pattern so we will shift a add a plane coming up here to the top we will let's drag it this way and scale this one at y now we will control and control a and apply the scale and rotation go to the edit mode add one loop here one here one here so we will grab this one up this one down so it create this kind of shape we can right click make this one shade smooth and we can apply a subdivision modifier at the level of 2 and select these edges and press and come up here and make this one mean crease so we get a loop like this now what we have to do is to shift D move it up here and rotate this one at 180 degree so we have this inverse kind of effect and now select these tools and shift D and now right click and rotate this one at 90 degree okay this seems good uh, what we have to do is to move this one exactly toward here and this one here so we have to actually um, make it like a square so just do that and it seems fine now select all Control J and then apply the modifier and what we have to do is to select these all S Y 0 we have to just like scale this one with 0 to get the to get these loops these corner loops straight so same goes with this one we would scale it with 0 with in the X direction so we get something like this <clears throat> now it's cool all we have to do is to apply this on this shape so we can actually target that so what we have to do is to come up here to the edit preference and search for an add-on that's called tissue I already turned it on so just check that and let's come up here and make this one save and close that and now we would get this new menu um, coming up here if you don't show this we can press N and then you will get this menu so if we come up here we have a bunch of options so we would click go with the normal one so just select your design your pattern and then shift and select the object and now what we have to do is to click on this option and we would make a lot of stuff with the default but um, we can do the merge one so it actually merge the vertex and smooth shading that we want it and then click on ok and as you can see if I just hide this one as you can see it 
apply this pattern to the whole object like this and it's looking pretty good uh, all we have to do is to add a solidify modifier so we give it some thickness and yeah I think this looks pretty cool so we would add a plane and grab this one up go to the top view grab it like this apply the scale and rotation we would add a subdivision modifier and we can add two loops here and scale that like this make sure to make this one two so we get um, enough subdivision or, or make this one three and now what we have to do is to select all the faces and I to insect and then delete that and now there is the boundary that we needed so we have to extrude that downward like this in the Z direction okay and select all alt N and make this one recalculate and now we can what we can do is just scale this up a bit right click shade smooth and let's alt s to just um, increase the thickness like this okay scale this at x until it cover all the object like this and yeah there we have a cool basket like this so we can add any pattern to this we would go for another example and for that what we have to do let's um, move it to any collection that we wanted so we will call this one basket and enter that and yeah also this one to the basket so we will hide this one and we will go with the another pattern so for that we would first add a spare so that will be a clothes pattern and then what we have to do is to come up here and add a plane grab this one up scale this one okay and go to the edit mode subdivide this this time we would go for like 30 and grab this one up like this and select your spare come up here to the physics and make this one collision this one to both clothes and let's make this one silk and play the animation and it will work like this now we have to stop the animation right click and make this one shade and I think it's looking good now we have to apply this clothes modifier with Control A and now we have to create a pattern for it so what we have to do is to add a torus grab this one here from the top view but actually we need to do some changes in it first so we would make the radius to about low like this and also the segments are a bit high so we will go for like 24 and this one to about 10 and this seems fine right click shade smooth so what we have to do is that shift D move this one towards the Y direction move it up here and rotate that in the Y move it down and rotate this one at the Y again so let's the the purpose is to actually like fit it like this so we would do some manual works like this and yeah this this seems fine okay now what we have to do is to delete this half and now delete this half and same goes for this side like this or, or maybe just this one and then this one select this one and double G to just slide that to make it somewhere like this also we need to slide this one double G okay we need to scale this one at Y so we would make it straight this one 
this one is already straight just need to be make it like this it's now looking good okay this one need to be a bit here and yeah this is fine just add a mirror modifier now okay and make sure to just merge these so what we have to do is to move our object a bit back turn on the clipping and clip this one okay same goes for the y direction um, this area is a bit more so we would scale it like this just I'm moving this to the y direction and yeah it's working fine now I think our pattern has been ready if you want to check that you can just add an array modifier and what we have to do select this one okay make sure to turn on the merge option and we have to straight this one just straight it like this and if it merge don't merge you can just turn the merge to about like this and yeah this will work now so you can uh, duplicate that merge this array and we can make this one to about 0 1 so we um, make it straight in this direction too just make the merge one a bit like this and yeah I think this is fine pretty 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 fine um, yeah that's good okay it's working so yep now our pattern has been ready now what we have to do is to select this one and then this one and then click on this option um, we would again same using the same thing merge and smooth head and click on ok and there we go I think it's, it's looking so good yep so you can experiment with uh, new kind of patterns and new kind of objects in ya yeah, you can create create a lot of stops um, it's similar to the zbrush nano mesh if you remember that so yeah it worked like that but somehow better than that cause maybe it have a bunch of more options we can refresh that and we can play with the values so yeah seems to be a lot of fun so create something with that and you can share that in our facebook group so the link is in the description and other than that you can hit a like and subscribe to the channel for your support so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video